Welcome to Kids Express. Join us as we see kids express their love for Jesus while developing their character. Come on, Kids Express! We are going to meet a young lady who has a lot of energy and enthusiasm to be a light not only to those who will listen, but also to be a great big sister and realize she needs to be a good example to her little sister. I'm Aunt Francine. And I am Sophia. Can you guess where in the world Taste Gets comes from? Can you identify the country? If you guessed Trinidad and Tobago, you're correct. Let's welcome Yelena. Hi, Yelena. How are you? Hi. I'm good. We're so excited that you're here. Are you excited to be here too? Yes. Yes. So tell us a little bit about Trinidad and Tobago. Specifically, you're on the island of Trinidad. Is that correct? Yes. All right. So tell us about Trinidad. Well, there are Lelabat in Lelabat turtles in Trin in Trinidad, and the Boko Reef is found in the Tobago. The new pan bam 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 is also one of my favorite instruments. And I think it was created and there too, right? Yes. Anything else about Trinidad? And also, Port of Spain is the capital of uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Of Trinidad and uh, Scarborough is the capital of Tobago. Very nice. And I believe we have soursop ice cream. That's also famous. Do you like it? Yes. And also, doubles is uh, one of my favorite. Uh, Soursop? That's Ooh. exciting. For those of you that don't know what soursop is, it's actually a plant and it, they say that it tastes like pineapple. I don't remember tasting it because my family and I were able to go. We had a 3ABN rally that was there uh, a couple years ago and it was exciting because they welcomed us with those steel pans and they are so welcoming with this upbeat and it's so much fun. I really like the steel pan too. That's a special instrument. I really like the steel pan because I remember our family came to Trinidad and Tobago and that was a special time because when we came out of the airport, they had the steel pans playing for us and it was the warmest welcoming. And you know, I really like Trinidad and Tobago because it is an island um, and everything has to be shipped to Trinidad or Tobago, right? And who's this? Is this your little sister? Yes. Oh, and how old is your little sister? Four. Four years old. And what's your name? Jalissa. Jalissa, nice to... Jalissa. Jalissa, nice to meet you. I'm so glad that you're joining us. But you know, when you think about Trinidad and Tobago, it's an island, so everything has to be shipped and brought over. So if you think about everything that you take for granted, that's an island, so they don't have as many resources that we might have in the United States. For example, like maybe a lot of building yeah. supplies or some, even some food has to be shipped to your island. So when you think about that, you may not have as many resources as we have because and if you do, it's more expensive. So we have to think about that. Yeah. But yeah, I'm so glad that you are in the island of Trinidad and Tobago. And I heard about the food doubles. Do you like doubles? Yes. Describe it for us. Yes. What is doubles like? It is like a yellow barra and they put chana and sweet, sweet dapran da sauce. Very nice. I like that. So tell me, how are you sharing Jesus, Yelena? I'm sharing Jesus uh, by telling, storytelling, and singing. So you tell stories and sing, and who do you tell stories and sing to? My sister. Oh, that's 
special. I think we actually have a video of the both of you singing. Can we play that right now? Would that be okay? Yes. yes. All right, let's, let's listen. He is a light, light, light. Light in the world, light in the shine, shine, shine. All over the earth, shining bright, bright, bright. He is the light of the world. That is really special because Jesus wants us to share his light. And with that light, we can shine to the whole world, right? Yeah. So tell us, what do you want to be, Yelena? And I want to be a teacher. Yes. And so being a teacher is a big responsibility. So what else do you do to share Jesus? I share Jesus by singing in church. Uh-huh. And you said something about that you do something with your friends at school. What do you do for your school? I help my classmates with their schoolwork. Okay. And you said something about when they're sick or they can't make it to school. What do you do? My mommy does in the, when I was in standard two, it was online before school was ready for us to go in public. So my mommy had to send some pictures for my classmates that were absent. That was nice. So you were helping. And when they were sick and when they were not feeling well. That was really nice. So you actually got your mom involved, but you were able to help your, your friends there who were sick and giving homework to them and then sending it back to school. That's a big deal. Yeah. That way they wouldn't fall mm -hmm. behind in school. That's important. Yeah. So if there was one thing that you feel like God is developing your character, what would that be? To what, how, be reliable. Being reliable. So what does that mean to be reliable? That means that you can like trust someone. If you say like, hey, can you do, um, can you, can you bring me like, can you do the laundry for me? And they say yes. Well then, like when you, if you go somewhere and you come back home, you you can't like just see like clothes not like folded. Leaving because, your clothes. Yeah. Yes. So what kind of chores do you like to do, Yelena? Wash the dishes, fold the clothes. Yes. So are you always reliable? No. <laughs> so sometimes it's sometimes. real. Sometimes, and you're working on being reliable and so that your mom can depend on you. What's one thing that you feel like you're not so reliable on? What kind of things? Well, maybe once when my mom tells me, like, to, like, let's say that, um, so sometimes I don't, like, fold my laundry. If she tells me, I forget or I just don't want to do it. And I remember a time that I told my daughter, for example, I would go to the store to get something for her. And Friday came around and I wasn't ready to go to the store. And I was realizing I was making excuses and I was getting too busy. But I had to keep my word yeah. and be reliable and actually take her to the store before, of course, sundown. But, you know, we need to be able to follow through. What's something that you feel like you have to be reliable on, Yelena? Folding the clothes, washing the dishes. Uh huh. Doing my homework. And doing your homework without being told. How about your little sister? What do you feel like you have to do? Do you have to be reliable too? Pack away toys. Uh huh. That's a big one. That's very important. And God wants us to be reliable and dependable. So, what kind of things do we have to do in order to be reliable? Mm. When your mom asks you to do something, what is it that we have to be reliable on? Like finish what they, like finish your task. You have to finish your task. What if you just did your laundry and you only did half of your laundry? Would that be, no. when you told your mom you're going to fold your laundry, was that being very reliable? No. That's not no. all of it. She, you said you're, you're going right. to do all of it. 
you're right. You said you were going to finish the task. And what about doing your very best? What if you only kind of rolled up your laundry and it wasn't folded nicely? Ooh, that, that's not doing your task either. Yeah, that's not being very reliable or dependable, right? So you have to do it well. What's another thing about doing it well and best? Yeah. Being honest. Huh? Being honest. Being honest. If you say you're going to do something, you have to follow yeah. through with it. You're right. And so all of those things are important tasks yeah. to keep in mind when you are dependable. And since you want to be a teacher, right? You have to yeah. be reliable and that your mom can trust you with your little sister and being dependable. So you, are, you mentioned something also about being reliable like with your classmates. What if you didn't turn in the homework for your classmates? What would happen? They won't be able to do it. They wouldn't be able to do their schoolwork or your teachers wouldn't be able to grade it. You're right. So they're depending on you to do a good job and follow through, being honest, right? Doing your very best. And what else was the other one? Um, Finishing finish your, your task. task. Mm -hmm. And that's all the things that we want to be able to do. So I think it's time for our question. Oh, yes. This question comes from Keila, who lives in, in Indiana. She asks, how did you get started working in the children's ministry? What do you enjoy the most? Oh, I like that question because it centers around being a teacher. You know, when I was young, I started teaching Sabbath school and I had to be very dependable every Sabbath and teaching some of the kids, even at age 12. And so God was already using me and I loved being with the younger kids. And mm. then I would help out at summer day camp, just volunteering and helping out. And the more time I was spending with kids, the more reliable I became mm -hmm. and the more dependable that I became. And then also I was helping younger kids, just like you're helping your little sister or older people. And so I realized that I too wanted to be a teacher. And that's a very important job because you know, no matter what you do, we need to be dependable and reliable. And I've got a Bible text and it's in a small book near the end of the Bible and it's in Titus 2 verse 7 and 8. And let me read that. It says, And all things showing yourself to be a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing integrity, reverence, and incorruptibility. What does all those things mean? It means that you have to be careful of what you do, how respectful you are, and that there's nothing negative about you, that people can't even talk about your speech and cannot be condemned, that one who is an opponent may not be ashamed having nothing evil to say about you. That means you have to really put on a character of who? Who do we have to put a character of? God. God, and, we want, and Jesus, you're right. You're right. We want to live for Jesus. And so when we do our very best, we're very honest and we finish the task, then what? People can't accuse us for no. something and we are dependable yeah. and reliable. Don't you want to be reliable for Jesus? Yes. I yes. Hope you do because being a teacher is a great responsibility and I believe it has the greatest rewards just to know that perhaps someone will be in heaven because of something you have done. Thankfully, you don't have to wait to be a teacher to win souls for Jesus. Even your little sister, like Alyssa, who is only four years old, may be a reason for someone who gives their lives to Jesus. So choose today to be reliable and someone that God can depend on that you can spread the love of Jesus for everyone. Don't you want to do that? Yes. Let's live for Jesus. What? Thanks for joining us on, on Kids.